Hey, welcome back. Today, let's talk about AI again, because there's something revolutionary going on every day, more or less. And uh, recently, Meta, you know, formerly known as Facebook, released their megabyte architecture. So let's talk about that today and why it is so revolutionary. But first, let's um, start with a fundamental understanding of some of the terms that we will be using. And the first one is that of an AI model. An AI model is essentially a program that has been trained on lots of data, right? And then regarding this data uh, or coming from this training data, it can make decisions or predictions based on that training data. And an example you might have already probably used is ChatGPT or GPT-4 or GPT-3.5, which is the previous model. Um, that's generating human-like text, right, in this chat, in this dialogue form. So that's what an AI model is. Next, let's talk about tokens. A token can be a word or a character, depending on how the model is trained. So when we say a model generates or processes text, it actually processes and generates tokens, right? We mean it generates pieces of information like words or characters. So AI models generate tokens. And lastly, parameters are the parts of the model that change during training. These parameters help the model understand and learn patterns from the data that it's been trained on. The more parameters a model has, the more it can learn, but the more computation power it requires. So let's dive into the current state of AI. Right now, many of today's high-performing AI models like GPT-4 are based on a structure called the transformer architecture. Transformer architecture was introduced by Google researchers back in 2017, so in AI uh, ages, like ages ago, eons ago, and this transformer architecture helps the AI understand and generate sentences and documents by paying attention to all parts of an input, like a an, sentence as an input. But now, Meta's AI research team suggests that this architecture is actually, mm, you might be hitting a wall there in terms of its capabilities, because two significant issues are cropping up. Firstly, as the length of inputs and outputs increase, the larger these um, inputs and outputs get, the transformer model actually requires even more computational power. And that's because each word processed or produced by such a transformer model requires attention to all other words, including the words that it has already generated. So imagine how complicated and intensive this gets when we're talking about thousands and thousands of words. So that's the first problem with the transformer model. Secondly, there's a problem with feed-forward networks, which help AI models understand and process words. They operate on groups of characters, or called positions, independently, which leads to hefty computational expenses when the model is dealing with large amounts of data. So we've got these two problems with the transformer architecture, the transformer model, and this is where this new megabyte model comes into play from Meta, from Meta AI, from the AI uh, part of, of, of Facebook. Um, because this groundbreaking model presents a different approach. It breaks up a sequence of inputs and outputs into patches instead of individual tokens. And each patch then is handled by a smaller AI model, while a larger global model orchestrates, orchestrates the final output across all the patches. So this is like working on several smaller puzzles instead of trying to complete a massive one with, I don't know, 10,000 pieces, one all at once. And the exciting part is this new method of dealing with data significantly improves the model's speed and efficiency. It even allows the model to carry out computations in parallel which is really a big leap forward compared to the sequential way of doing things in the traditional transformer model. In tests, researchers have found that the, this megabyte model was 40% quicker than the transformer model with fewer parameters. So it's also exceeded the capacity limits of existing models. Um, where it was handing over 1.2 million tokens compared to 32,000 tokens. But it's just not about making bigger models. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman suggests that the focus should actually be on enhancing capabilities. So as a result, OpenAI is actually thinking beyond simply training larger and larger models. And it's more focusing on optimization. 
the CEO of OpenAI likens the future of AI models to iPhone chips. For most people, the technical specifications of these chips inside their iPhones don't matter as much as the performance improvements and new capabilities they bring, right? It's kind of logical. But the same could also be true for AI models. It's just not about how many parameters they have, so it's like the raw numbers, but what they actually can do with it and how efficiently they can do it. So this megabyte model is really exciting development in this direction. It addresses the scalability issues of current AI models and presents a very cool, innovative approach to managing and processing data, opening up a completely new frontier for efficient, high-performing AI models. But Meta's researchers also are quick to point out that their architecture is not the only way forward. There are other potential strategies for improving AI models that don't necessarily involve reinventing the architecture from scratch. For instance, more efficient encoder models could be developed using similar patching techniques. Meta's researchers are also quick to point out that their architecture is not the only way forward. There are other poten potential strategies for improving AI models that don't necessarily involve reinventing the whole architecture from scratch. And as we continue to explore and innovate, we would like to see a combination of many different techniques being used to push the boundaries of what AI models are capable of. As AI continues to advance, the focus seems to be shifting from sheer size and power to efficiency and optimization. Just like we've seen with smartphones and computers, the goal isn't necessarily to make things bigger, but to make them faster, better, and more capable. And it is really an exciting time to be involved in this field of AI and programming, and I will try my best to keep you updated on the latest developments. <laughs>